Albert Tam and Bruno Priam on the front of this grid. Who's going to get the whole shot in towards turn one? Lights go green. Here we go. We're racing down in towards turn one. Great start this time from Bruno Priam. Can he hold it around the outside there? Can he slot into third place? There's carts flying off at turn number one. Amazingly, the gravel trap deals with it uh, and they all get going again. Uh, so several carts off at turn one, but all fine and still in the race. There you can see them breaking away now. Back at the front here, and it is still Albert Tam who leads the way. Oh, that's Ava Lawrence in the treble eight, one of the Discovery or Drive initiative drivers uh, who's trying to get it restarted, uh, successfully does so. Uh, but yeah, tumbling down the order now. That is a huge shame for Ava. Race continuing. Bobrajov there in uh, second place. Brian Bruno in third, or Bruno Priam, I should say, in third place as they all try and close in. We've got a four-cart battle here now at the front. Four-cart breakaway uh, as they go through. You can see the two carts just in the background as well. I believe Antoine Vernet just at the front of that one. Change for the lead. Down the inside. It's not one. It's not two. Uh, drops down into P3. And it is Maxim Bobrazov who leads the way now ahead of Bruno Priam. Albert Tam in third place from Lucas Palacio, who has joined... Uh, the top three in that battle now as they try to break away. But Antoine Vinot and uh, Zucchetto are trying to close in. Lorenzo Zucchetto are right there, the two of them battling away. Well, I suspect with these four, if they continue to scrap, we could have a six-cut battle here for this race. But again, in the minis, you lose one, you lose two, you lose three, you lose four places. That's how close and competitive it is. Down the infield here, in towards turn 11. No change, no dives to the inside. These drivers thinking, right, it's early stage of the race. I think uh, just hold position here now. Try and focus, try and just manage the pace of this race. It's uh, a real challenge for these mini drivers because, again, the Valencia circuit here promotes a move like this. Down the inside, Bruno Priam back into the lead where he wants to be, back at the top. And now he would lead the IC across the line, but not for much longer, as again, you gain one, you lose three. Tam, Bobrajov, and Palacio all getting through. Bruno Priam back to P4. This is bringing in Zucchetto. This is bringing in Antoine Vernet. This is bringing in Oscar Hennock as well. Oscar Hennock uh, could close in at this point. The driver is in seventh. There's a little bit of uh, real estate between him and that lead group but he hasn't got pressure from behind. He is on his own a little bit, is uh, Hennick uh, in the group behind, but he is closing in. Now this is uh, broken away a little bit here. We've got two by two here, as there's another change for third place. Bruno back up into third. Palacio into fourth, as he's going to try and close in on these lead two. Tam and Bobrajov, who are starting to break away here. Now you can see the body language between the two of them, saying, right, come on, let's work together. Let's break away. Let's do what we do in this class, in the other races. And they're doing just that here. Back down the start, finish straight. We go on to lap four. We are more than half race distance now. And again, Albert Tam leading the way. For the IC, 94 points then would go to Albert Tam. He would start on pole for that final and would have the 25 championship points. Ooh, he, he made a little mistake there from Albert Tam. I think he went a little bit too deep in towards turn three there through turn four and as you can see that's really close to pack in there Bobrajov got caught up in that he didn't get past he didn't use the momentum uh, from taking that corner well to get that overtake done after that slight mistake so he stayed behind and now Bruno Priam has closed back in so once more it's a three car battle Palacio still there in P4 is just dropping off the rear of this trio Palacio needs to think what he wants to do now because he's lost the toe for Palacio. This is uh, not what he wants. As again, continuing to push here, Tam and Bobrazov just trying to break away from Bruno Priam. He's the biggest threat here to these two as well. Down the inside, Bobrazov wants a turn at leading this one and immediately here comes Bruno Priam fighting back and through into P2 now. Albert Tam to third. Now, Bobrajov would like this. He got a third earlier on. A race win now would certainly help him out. He would be second. He wouldn't be third. Bruno Priam would lead the IC, being in this position. 94 to 91. Albert Tam needs to gain these places now if he wants those 25 championship points. 
If he wants to start this one on pole, he needs to get this overtake done. Right now, Bobajov and Bruno are just trying now to just focus on working together. They're, you can see that by the body language. They're tucking in now, trying to break away. Tam staying there in the slipstream, though. He has not dropped off the back. He is still in chance of a win here in this race. We go on to lap six now, but ultimate lap of the race. As you can see there, an investigation flag is going out uh, to the 816. Uh, that is Koda Singh, uh, unfortunately. And another change here. Now, once more, Bruno Priam leads the way through turn one. Bobozhov down to third, now back up into second. Tam is there in third place. Once again, Palacio has closed in. It is four carts battling now for the race lead. Down the infield straight they go. Keep an eye on Bobrozhov. He is looking strong here. Is he going to go for the move? No, he thinks against it. He stays behind. Crucially, though, Bruno Priam doesn't go defensive, stays on the normal racing line. Holding position. You can see there the rubber that is going down on the circuit here. Of course, the Mini's on the Vega tires as well, really pushing strong. We're going on to the last lap of the race now, so this is where it's going to be a mental game. Where do you position the cart? Where do you go for the attack? Here we go then, across the line, final lap. Who's starting on pole? Who's taking the championship points at the end of Saturday from the qualifying heats in Mini 60? It is Bruno Priam, Maxim Bobrajov, Albert Tam, Palacio in P4. No change just yet. In they go, the door opens. And now Tam's having to go defensive. I think he's lost chance of getting in this top two now. He's going defensive from Palacio. The gap has opened up. He's trying to push it back up to these top two with Bondarev not yet going for the move. Down in towards turn 11 now. Bruno goes defensive. Bruno Priam defensive here. Tries to get the switch back. Tam's back in the fight now. It's back to a P top four fight as they exit out onto turn 14. Oh, it's going to be a send. It's going to be a send into that final chicane. It is going to be. There are points up for grabs here. Pole position for the final is up for grabs here. Tam leads it. Bruno second. Bobozhov is third. But who's going to get it at the end of this one? As they go through the final chicane, is it going to be a run to the line? It's not going to be a run to the line for first. It will be for second. But it is Bruno Priam who takes a back-to-back -back win. Bruno Priam. Maximum points, 100 intermediate classification points for Bruno Priam. Across the line, he will start on pole and he will get the 25 championship points at the end of the qualifying heats phase of Saturday here at Valencia. Bruno Priam takes it ahead of Maxim Bobrozov, Albert Tam from Lucas Palacio. Lorenzo Zucchetto finishes in P5 ahead of Antoine Vinay. Blaje Kostreva finishing in seventh place ahead of Vincente Cam uh, Capella in eighth place. Oscar Hennock finishing in the top 10 in P9. Min Jae Kim finishing in the top 10 P10. 14 places gained for the driver from South Korea in his first appearance in the Champions of the Future Academy program here at Valencia. A driver who was not at uh, Cremona, certainly making a good uh, effort here at Valencia for his first appearance. Here's a look then at the provisional classifications. We've gone over the top 10. Achilles Peruzzi finishing in 11th place ahead of Jan Gajelic, Bertha Guth and uh, Derek Rivera, Sebastian Kiss, rounding out the top 15 on circuit. 16 place downwards sees uh, Mason from Shiloh. Uh, Constantinou going up into 18th place. That is a brilliant race for his first appearance. Uh, Michael Vino finishing in 19th place ahead of Felagoni. Oscar Singh from Coda Singh. Ava Lawrence uh, from Aaron Mason uh, finishing just behind in P24. Lina Samalanka finishing in uh, P25, not gaining or losing any places. Juan Garfiarte not having that uh, good race this time around, uh, finishing in P26. Two retirements, Sophie Guth. And Elias Boulier, unfortunately, 27th and 28th both retiring. But there on your screen, Bruno Priam. That is a back-to-back -back win then. 25 championship points. And, of course, pole position for that final later on. Here's some of the highlights from that one. That uh, first moment there uh, for Aaron Mason.
Uh, not uh, what you would want at the start of this race. Amazingly, he did get going in that race. Obviously, down positions, he wasn't in his original starting spot. Uh, but uh, he, he did uh, gain some positions in that one and did finish in P24. Uh, this was the uh, the race itself then, the start, and it was a great start from Albert Tam. Keep an eye, though, on the outside here, right at the front. Bruno Priam, uh, there you can see slots into third place. That was the moment in the background there. there were several drivers uh, spearing off the circuit. Uh, I believe one of them was uh, Ava Lawrence, who did manage to get going, but, uh, yeah, dropping down the order a little bit. Uh, yeah, brilliant start then for... Uh, Bruno Priam again that outside road being a little bit of a pain as you try to go through uh, that is how uh, Ava Lawrence uh, went off the track actually it was at the exit of turn number three so uh, yeah that is uh, not what she would have wanted to uh, happen to her the race continued though at the end of lap number one it was Maxim Bobozhov who was leading the way after this move down into the final chicane Bruno Priam followed through as well both of them getting past Albert Tam uh, who would drop down to third Tam would retaliate a lap later Back into second as Bruno Priam would go for the lead of the race. But after gaining the one spot, it was a carbon copy of what happened in qualifying heat one earlier on. He gained one, he then lost three. Down into P4 as Tam went through, the same as Bobrozov and Lucas Palacio also getting through as well. So big changes uh, for the top three uh, throughout that race. And again, another change here for position. As you can see, down the inside, Maxim Bobrozov getting that move done and uh, Bruno Priam following suit as well. And this was just a carbon copy of what we saw earlier on uh, in the day. Just these three scrapping away, allowing the drives behind to close in. This time, much closer effort from Lucas Palacio, uh, who was there in P4, managing to really stick with these uh, top three drivers at the end of that one. Photo finish at the end, but it would be Bruno Priam taking the win ahead of Maxim Bobozhov. Albert Tam finishing in third.